Hello everyone, welcome to A Cat Astrophic Date. The cat is emphasized for a reason, as you're about to see. This game is totally free to play, I'll have a link in the description to where you can check it out for yourself. Let's begin. You are a cat. A genius cat, actually. Your owner has had no success with men at all for most of her life, with almost all of her dates being terrible in general. Last night, yet another potential date left her a message while she was out, saying he couldn't make it to dinner tonight. You were fed up with all the flakes. You've had enough. So you, being the genius cat that you are, deleted the voicemail, and then you devised a plan. You set up everything to give her the perfect date. Except instead of one of those flakes, you'd be taking the place of the guy who just cancelled his date with your owner instead. Your job is to make her feel happy for one date in hopes that she might feel better about herself, and realize she's a good owner, and, I guess, a good human being too, after all. Hey, this is the narrator here. Good job making it to the restaurant first, but don't forget your goal. You're here to make this a fun time for your owner, so she can get some self-esteem and find some good guys. Also, press enter to advance the text. Finally, you've had the foresight to make an answering device to respond to your owner. When she has a statement or question that needs answering, you can press the up or down key to respond how you see fit. Now, here she comes. Good luck. Hey, sorry I'm late. I couldn't find my contacts or glasses, so I had to run here instead of driving, and I feel so bad about making you wait. You're still up for eating together though, right? I hope. Press the up key to answer yes, press the down key to answer no. Yes, of course I am. Great. So what are you going to order to eat tonight? Uh, yes. You're up for anything? Well then, I have to confess, I have a huge sweet tooth, so I'd like to actually start with dessert first. Like some chocolate cake, maybe? Yes, sure. I can't wait. So I have to ask, what do you do for work? Do you work at an office job, maybe? Uh, yeah. Oh, so where do you work? Right as she finishes talking, you feel a mild shock on your hands. The answering device is broken. Looks like you didn't build it as good as you thought, huh? Now, while she can't see you that well because she doesn't have her glasses or contacts, you're still going to have to communicate somehow. But all you know how to do is to look surprised, or give a pouty sad face, or just outright not respond. Okay, up to look surprised, right to look sad, down to do nothing. Uh... Surprised? I'll look surprised. Why are you surprised that I'm asking? I think you're pretty nice. Why wouldn't I want to know? Oh look, the chocolate cake is here already. That was pretty fast. Let's dig in. You agreed to eat a chocolate cake? What were you thinking? Cats can't eat chocolate. You suffered severe indigestion and had to be taken to the vet, ruining your entire plan to cheer your owner up and costing you $2,000 in veterinar uh, veterinar veterinarian fees. Veterinarian? Is veterinar veterinarian a word? Isn't it veterinarian? Or I don't know. Anyway, yeah, I guess eating chocolate wasn't the best idea. <laughs> Let's try again. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Okay. So, like some chocolate cake, maybe. Let's say no. Yeah, I guess that's kind of overboard for our first dish. What about an appetizer, then? Like, onion rings? Hmm. Can cats eat onions? I have no idea. Uh, sure. Great. So I have to ask, are you into any sports? Right as she finished talking. Okay, so yeah, now it's back to... Look surprised, sad, or do nothing. Um, I'm gonna look surprised again. Extreme sports? Me too. Any interesting stories? Uh, I'm gonna look sad, I guess? Oh, I'm sorry. Did something bad happen to you regarding sports? We don't have to talk about it right now. Oh look, the onion rings are here. Dig in, but save room for more. I still want to get that cake. You agreed to eat onion rings? What were you thinking? Cats get sick from onions. 
You suffered severe indigestion. Oh, God. Okay, so apparently cats can't eat onions. I didn't actually know that. Let's try again. Okay, so yes, yes, no. Okay, so I'm going to have to answer no to the onion rings also. Okay, so what do you want to eat then? Okay, now we're back to these. Surprised, sad, and nothing. Uh, surprised? Wait, are you saying that you're surprised that I want to eat? Are you saying I'm fat? I'm done here if you're just going to screw with my head and then insult me. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, let's try again. God, this is hard. It's hard to be a cat, pretending to be a human on a date with your owner. I never thought this would be so difficult. Okay, so yes, yes, no, no. Don't look surprised. Okay, sad or nothing. Sad? Uh, I'm sorry for pressuring you. I guess I just really want this date to go right. I've had a lot of really bad dates lately, and it's kind of ruined my self-esteem. So I guess I just find myself rushing things and hope that finally one date will go right. For a long time now, I've felt that there was something wrong with me. Besides obviously having a hook for a hand and my multiple other physical problems like my eyesight and so on. I'd get rejected by guys left and right, and just blamed myself. But you've sat here, didn't care about my physical disabilities, didn't mind my quirks, didn't mind my lateness, now you've patiently sat here and listened to me ramble on. I think you helped me realize that, while I'm not a perfect person, of course, I'm not a terrible one either. I've just had bad relationships. Thanks for helping me realize all this. But honestly, I'd rather go home to start working on things I've neglected. It's not personal. I hope you understand. Good job. During her monologue, you managed to fix the answering device and could answer yes in response to her last to her question. She then asks you if you agree with her choice, which you also answer yes to. She then leaves, smiling and happy, as you'd intended. Not to mention, with her newfound strength and her self-esteem, she'll be able to handle any future rejections much better, and with luck, she'll end up finding someone she really likes who deserves her just as much. Or she'll become a pirate. Either one. Thanks for playing. If this is your first ending you've gotten, you should also check out the other endings too. There's even a secret Easter egg ending. Did you find it? Hmm. Additionally, check out the credits to see more work from the creators of this game. Well, I've certainly gotten other endings, none of them good, but a secret Easter egg ending. Easter egg ending. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder how I could get it. What if you don't respond? It's a pretty small game. It probably couldn't be too hard to find it. Let me see if I can find it. I'll be right back. Okay, well, I just found a different ending. I don't know if it's the secret ending, but... It looks like you can convince her to go somewhere else for the date. So if I say no to what do you want to order tonight? She says, oh, you didn't want to eat? Well, did you want to go somewhere else then for our date? And say yes. Yeah, this place is kind of stuffy. So where did you want to go then? And then if you look... Surprised, I think I was? Yeah, you want to go somewhere fun? Okay, let's go. And then this happens. <laughs> you decide to go to an amusement park, and everything's going great. Until you run into the flake, who left her the voicemail. She then realizes something's going on, and the jig is up. Talk about bizarre accidents. So I don't know if that's the secret ending. Or if it's just... One ending. I don't know, I'm gonna poke around a bit more. Okay, there's actually a lot more endings to this game than I thought. If you go back to the, do you want to go somewhere else dialogue, and instead of looking surprised, if you look sad, she takes you somewhere else. You can't think of anywhere to go? I've got an idea. Follow me. You decide to go to a local go-karting track at her suggestion, and start racing around the track having fun. Until you realize that she still can't see well, and right after the race starts, she's in an ambulance with broken bones. Still alive, though. If she can't see, well, I'm not sure why she'd get in a go-kart, but... Okay. Alright, let me poke around some more. 
All right, well, I went through every single dialogue option I could think of to try, systematically, and I couldn't find anything else. And it said, like, it said, did you find the secret ending? And I found two, you know, I found two kind of weird endings, the go-kart and the one where you meet the flake and then, you know, the jig is up and she knows you're a cat. But... That was more than one, so I don't think that was THE secret ending. Unless there's just more than one. But it only says there's one, so I don't know, I couldn't find it. If anyone can find it, let me know. Alright, so that's the end of my catastrophic date, which actually didn't turn out too catastrophic. Well, the first ten tries or so were pretty catastrophic. <laughs> but the last one went pretty good. I really like this game. It's silly, but also kind of... a little bit touching, too. It's silly and touching at the same time. I like that. I feel like it's brightened my day already. Alright, well, I hope you've enjoyed my playthrough of A Catastrophic Date. Thank you for watching.